Hello again, a new day, a new project. I'm trying to use my nano DNA connected to the PC, measuring some velocity factor and some cables and stuff like this for my antennas and helium antennas and miners and so on. Okay, so that's the funny part of the things. Yeah, you can see here the nano DNA is coming with Cypress driver installer here. Of course, I did that so many times, you know, took it from the system, put it back on. Why? Because when I'm trying to open nano VNA server and uh, I, I tried all the version possible, look here what's happened. So we have a clear COM4, the nano VNA is at COM4 and I'm trying to connect the device, nothing happens. Get off the driver, put the driver again, same story, starting up the computer, you know, I've been working <laughs> almost one day you know to make these things running and it's still not running so <laughs> what I found this is a very simple solution I found another software and this is nano VNA QT you now I download it from the internet and uh, copy it in my computer and look here this is really funny I'm opening this one I can see very clear COM4, this is my USB nano VNA, look there, USB mod, I'm closing this one and starting nano VNA saver. And there we go, <laughs> it's up and running. This is so funny. So I think it's something related with, uh, with this uh, software or the driver or Windows 10, I don't know. The point is that this is a solution for, uh, how can I say, not wasting your time searching all kinds of drivers and doing all kinds of modification cables and so on. And then I, I, I've been trying all kinds of USB cables and maybe the cable is wrong. And what's funny, I'm closing the software it's still on USB mode. So now it's starting without any problem, any kind of version. I mean, any version on nano VNA, the new ones, this is 0.39. Uh, there is another, I think it's 0.310 or something, the newest one. But anyway, this is a kind of solution. I hope it's useful. And uh, if you like, subscribe. And most of all, don't forget to have fun. Bye bye.